Alrighty guys, welcome back. Earlier we were talking about uh, Rachel Duzal, um, who got fired over her OnlyFans account, and now we are going to be diving into our oddities of the day. Alrighty, so I don't know if you've heard anything about Charlotte the Stingray. Have you heard about Charlotte at all? I have a you little have? bit. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. Charlotte, who is a stingray with no male companion, is pregnant in her um, mountain aquarium. Um, Charlotte, who is a rust-colored stingray the size of a serving platter, has spent much of her life gliding around the confines of a storefront aquarium in North Carolina's Appalachian Mountains. She is uh, 2,300 miles aw away from her natural habitat under the waves of off Southern California. Um, she hasn't shared a tank of water with a male of her species in at least eight years. And yet, nature has found a way, the aquarium's owner said, the stingray is pregnant with as many as four pups and could give birth in the next two weeks. This is like, people on social media are going crazy about this stingray. <laughs> okay, I, I know a lot about this one. So, okay, I know a, a lot more about this, not because of this topic, but just in general. Because he doesn't um, sleep and he's on the internet. Because <laughs> I, I have made it to the end of the internet and back. <laughs> and I fear no evil. Okay, there are animals out there that like sharks are one of those examples and stingrays are closely related to sharks. Mm. So I don't know this about stingrays, but sharks can turn, can change their sex. Mm -hmm. Let's say there's a group of sharks swimming around and this happened, I think at the San Francisco Aquarium where it was all sharks of the same sex. And then next thing they know, they had a pregnant shark. And everyone was like, whoa. And then they kind of found out. Like, it was either the San Francisco Aquarium or the Monterey Bay Aquarium that this happened when I was in California. But this has happened, I was about to say, to me. But <laughs> I don't mean me personally. <laughs> I was an Andrea and then became <laughs> Andrew Tate, okay, for the record. Um. But it also happens with bearded dragons and other animals. Yeah, and so, good. yes. So we ended up with, I believe we had all girl bearded dragons and then, or maybe it was reversed. And then by the end, we ended up with like two boys and one girl. Uh, so it's happened when I had, when I had um, iguanas, it happened with my iguanas. We had a we had a, a one named Elvis. Elvis was a beautiful iguana, and boy, we'd taken him to the vet a bunch of times. And then one day we walked into his cage, and it was like forty eggs. Just everybody, like, whoa, wait a minute, where, you know? So I have seen this happen firsthand. I'm I'm taken aback at your your pet track list. You had <laughs> lizards and my very dragons are awesome. I don't. Like... I no longer have them. Oh, when I, I moved to Euro, I, when I moved to Europe, uh, our bitter dragons were older, mm -hmm. and so we didn't think it would be right to move them thousands and thousands of miles away. Mm -hmm. Put them on a plane. I, we thought it would be too risky for their health, yeah. so we found them a new home. But. Uh, Girl, bearded dragons are some of the best pets you can have. They're very sweet, kind-hearted, and you can te you can teach them to come when they can, you know when you call their name, they'll come. My my iguanas, I I litter box train them to the point that when they go to lit they would dig a hole and go to the bathroom and bury it. You can teach you can teach them lots of things. I'm <laughs> weird about reptiles. Like I think reptiles are cool, but I would not want a reptile in my house. <laughs> Snakes. Snakes are the one I don't trust at all. <laughs> um I 
had an experience in college with a snake and I'm like, never will I ever, ever have a snake as a pet. I think snakes are cool. I would never have a snake as a pet, but I think snakes are cool. There's a, there's a photo of me, like, <clears throat> from when I was, like, probably eight or nine holding a big boa constrictor. <laughs> Yes, they're they're kind of cool. To be. Like, yeah, well, I don't I don't fear snakes. I'll throw one. Mine was one of my fraternity brothers had uh, a snake, uh, and then or anyway, the snake ended up like wrapping around his little sister. She was young, and I never trusted snakes again ever. Yeah. So that's one of the things. But we are off the beaten path here. <laughs> it's not it's not about my bearded dragons or my iguanas or or a snake. It's about <laughs> the pregnant stingray. Yes. First, everyone is tripping out that they're saying like it could be that it got pregnant by the bamboo sharks, which hint, I used to have bamboo sharks as well. <laughs> I used to have a 300 gallon aquarium at my house. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and so, and I had bamboo sharks in them. So, uh, I... <laughs> yeah. On the whole shark thing, they said um, that that is impossible. I agree. That's, that, that, that is something uh, I'm glad that's finally got ruled out because the last time I saw it, uh, people were saying that it could be a bamboo, it could be. The bamboo shark was the daddy, you know. It's like <laughs> it's like the Maury Povich show. Who's the stingray Ray's uh, father? You are not the you father. Are so, not the father. <laughs> so the stingray has been. He don't have no child support payments coming in anytime soon. <laughs> he can swim away, and it's all good. No child support for uh... for the bamboo for the bamboo shark. That is. Oh, so, what are they saying on what are they saying online about it? On what? What are they saying online? You said there's a lot of people talking about it online. What have you seen so far? Um, I've just seen like TikTok videos of people being like, "Oh my gosh, like Stingray got pregnant," and, <laughs> and I have some of my coworkers at work are like really into it too, and they're like. I, th I think it would be cool if it was like a shark and a stingray. See, that's because they <laughs> thought it was going to be this is this like uh, this weird mix where it's going to be half oh. shark, half. They're also talking about how it's like a clone of the stingray, like the stingray what? is cloning. Cloning. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Clarify this one. Stingray cloning. So the stingray swam over to his little lab and took some stem cells and kind of made his own thing. I don't know where the logic is in that, honestly. There is a lot of conspiracy <laughs> theories out there, which which is some of the things that people people say or what they believe. It's it's special. It's and special. <laughs> it's special. It's yes. special. Yeah. Uh, you know, so the stingray. So when is isn't it coming up? Isn't it due? It's like two weeks from now. Are they gonna have like the stingray baby shower and all this <gasps> stuff? Since so many what if people they, are like, onto it. <laughs> what if they broadcast? Oh. What if they broadcast it like they do with Puxatani? <laughs> <laughs> I bet you a lot of people would show up for it. <laughs> <laughs> So that is hilarious. Okay, but just in case there's a small percentage, if you have if this sucker comes out as half stingray, half shark, That'd be it, cool. people are gonna lose their mind. Yeah, I won't. I don't think it'll happen. It's biologically impossible. But <laughs> I don't. I don't know if it's biologically impossible. I'm not sure about that. I don't have enough information on that one. If it, like because How there was one the scientist, bamboo bamboo sharks aren't that big. They can they can be they can be, still be they're big enough to take care of business. Let's just say, <laughs> <laughs> if you understand uh, the the fact that there was some scientists that actually thought it could be possible. Now I guess it's been they're been ruled that. out. Yeah, but 
if that if that's if that does happen see now you got me intrigued to see what's really what's going to happen with this one data's trying to data starting to believe in the uh, the conspiracies <laughs> <laughs> there's too many conspiracies out there. as long as that stingray realizes that the world is not flat that's all i care about <laughs> <laughs> Oh, gosh, <laughs> hope we don't have any Please. flat earthers watching the show. They're going to be mad at you. <laughs> you know what? Bring it, flat earthers. I think you guys are whack jobs. The earth is not flat. I'm sorry. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> oh, all, all right. the flat earthers could be mad at me. I welcome you. <laughs> all right. Well, we're going to close the show out. <laughs> Peter's like, he's going off the deep end. I got to cut him off. <laughs> go. uh, all righty, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in to the Andrew Tate Show presented by the GSMC Sports Network. Your support means a lot to us, so please remember to subscribe to the show and leave a positive review. It really does make a difference. We also invite you to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content and updates. Thank you once again. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, peace. peace. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go.